all, before I start this video, I just want to apologize for the lighting in this video. Um, it's 7.07 p.m. right now, and it's really dark, and this is the best lighting I can get in my house right now. And I really want to film this video because um, I'm actually filming this the day before it actually is going to happen. But t um, today, March 2nd, but technically it's March 1st, is my um, two-year anniversary on YouTube, so yay! Um, so in, w in way to celebrate that, I'm going to do what I do best, which is hauling. Um, I know I'm supposed to do, like, do tutorial or something, but, like, I need to ask you guys, bef um, do you guys like my hauls better, or do you guys like my tutorials better? Because, like, I can't decide what's better, because I know I haven't done a tutorial in a long time, and my last tutorial was a One Less Lonely Glitter-inspired tutorial. But can you please tell me what you guys prefer, like, hauls or tutorials, or, like, what do you guys, what, what kind of videos do you want from me? Because I've been doing hauls, and I notice my hauls get a lot more views than my, um, tutorial, so please let me know what you want me to do, because I have no idea. I know I do both, but, like, it's just, my hauls seem to get a lot more views than all, anything else, so, please let me know. So, like, I'm going to start off with a, um, this is mainly going to be called, like, on the top you're going to see, it's a Hello Kitty, um, by Sephora haul. I'm also going to include some MAC, but I'm going to include the MAC right now, because it's the shortest thing. So, um, this is actually the first time I'm actually filming. The last time I filmed was, like, before, I'm trying to figure out the calendar right now. Last time I filmed was, like, February 2nd or 3rd or something. No, wait. February 4th. Sometime, like, the first week of February. So this is me actually filming, like, before I'm actually going to post it, because I'm going to post it tomorrow, which is um, March 2nd, but it's actually going to be March 2nd today, because I'm filming before, because I have to go out um, tomorrow for dinner. Okay, so um, today, literally, I grabbed... The Viva Glam Gaga lipstick, finally. I've been sick for so long. If you follow me on Twitter, you would know I've been sick for the past two weeks. I've had a virus. I had a cold, so that's why I couldn't, like, do anything. I couldn't... The videos that you saw me post is videos that I filmed, like, along, like, the first week of February when I filmed, like, a whole bunch of videos. Like, I filmed, like, four or five videos or something. But, yeah, I grabbed two of these lipstick, uh, One of the lipstick and one of the lip glasses. So this is the Viva Glam Gaga 2 lipstick. I'm not going to swatch it because I'm pretty sure you guys have already seen the swatches. But, um, this is my second, like, proper nude lipstick, because I have, um, let me see. Oof. These are the two lipsticks I have that are actually, like, nude. My Revlon, um, Super Lustrous Lipstick in Sparkling Cider. So this is one of the nudes that I have. You can't really see it that well, but that's what it looks like. Um, that's one of the nudes I have. That's, like, one of the first nudes I ever got. And then I have Revlon Soft Nude, and that's what that looks like. Um, I'm probably going to do swatches of these later in a blog post, but I'll post the blog post, like, um, whenever I can in actually daylight, because I can't do these during the night or whatever. And this is what Viva Glam Gaga looks like. So this is an amplified, um, formula. And the reason why I mainly, um, I got it, even if this doesn't suit me, I got it because I'm a huge fan of Lady Gaga. You guys know this, so, yeah, that's why I have to get it, and also want to support the AIDS research whole thing. And, where's, where'd it go? Anyways, yeah, I got the lip gloss as well, and I'll show you what the lip gloss looks like, but the packaging is just the regular, like, packaging that you saw in the first Viva Glam Gaga, and, um, yeah, that's what that looks like. Like, you have no idea how excited I am to film for you guys, because I haven't filmed forever, it seems, so I'm just like, I feel like I forgot how. But, by the way, um, my, I didn't get a haircut at all, it's the exact same haircut, it's just, I my part, instead of in the middle with the bangs going down, I put, um, my part, like, here. So, that's why my bangs are like this, so it's not, like, in my face. I'm, like, I'm trying to grow up my bangs. But, yeah, this is what the, um, it's a lot darker than what's showing on camera, because my lighting is, like, terrible right now. But I'm doing what I can do best, and at least I'm filming a video for you guys. I'm so happy I'm filming. Okay, let me just put these back. Okay, so that's the first thing, one of the first things I grabbed today at MAC. And then, um, I got the pink, I got the, um, Pink Power MSF from the Wonder Woman collection. I grabbed two of them. I don't know why I grabbed two. I think I was thinking that I was going to run out of one, so I had to go grab another one. So I spent a total of $94 just for these two. I'm like crazy. There's something wrong with me. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm thinking maybe I can sell one, or maybe I can use one, or maybe I'm going to use it, and then I don't know. One of my friends, um, this is um, Emirate. I'll put her YouTube down below, but she's like, I can give this to your grandchildren? I'm like, oh, maybe I should. Maybe, maybe. But, um, yeah, so this is what the Pink Power MSF looks like. It's huge. Like, let me just compare it to, um, what the regular MSF looks like. Um, the regular MSF looks like this, and the Pink Power looks like this. And this one, um, doesn't come with the mirror, but this one, I think, I believe, comes with the mirror. 
No, it doesn't. Why am I thinking? Anyways, it comes with a regular plastic cover thing, and this is what it looks like. It's basically, um, you can either swish, swirl, swish, um, swirl all three colors together, or you can use them separately. The lighting is not doing any justice for this right now. But, um, this is basically like a highlight, the bronzer, and a blush. And that's what I'm going to use it for. And that's why I grabbed myself two of them, because thinking I'm going to like, run out. But these are probably going to last me a really, 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 really long time. But yeah, I grabbed two of the Pink Power MSFs. These weren't available online when I tried to find it on the Canada website. So, so as soon as I found them in store, I put them on hold, and then I picked them up that exact same day. So, yeah. Um, I love how my makeup's all around me, so it's easy to access. Anyway, those are the things I grabbed from Max. So the Pink Power MSFs and the Lady Gaga um, lipstick and lip gloss, the new ones. Okay, so... Basically, this haul is basically, I just forgot how to film or something, but um, this is my um, Sephora box, you can see here. So, um, let me show you what I got from Hello Kitty. I got, I ordered it um, early January, and I finally got it, like, sometime early February. A few things, I spent a total of $198.88 with everything, like, included shipping and whatever. No, wait, shipping was free because I spent over $150 or $130, I believe. Yeah. And it costs a lot of money. Like, what is... I, I don't know why I spent this much money, $198 in total for Hello Kitty. I have a problem. But anyways, uh, one of the first things I got was a handheld mirror, and this is what the packaging looks like. Well, oh, the lighting's going to be terrible. Anyways, but you can kind of see what it looks like. There it goes. Angled it down. So that's what it looks like. It just says handheld. Oh, Handheld mirror. Let me just open it. Um, there's actually an outer package, plastic packaging on the outside, but I already took that off to make this video a little bit easier. And it comes in this bubble wrap packaging. Oh, no, it smells really bad. Oh, that is so weird. Anyways, um, it's plastic. So this is what the Hello Kitty looks like. It looks like that, and then the mirror obviously looks like this. Sorry, my room's like messy. I'm trying not to blind you guys. But yeah, this is what the detailing is. It's basically plastic, everything. And it says, um, 1976 to 2010 Sanrio Co. Limited thing. But yeah, that's what that looks like. And this mirror cost me $46. It's the quality. Basically, you're mostly paying for the name of Hello Kitty. It's this thing, the quality of it, I'd say, is not worth $46. Because I'm pretty sure you can go to Walmart and pay 5 bucks for just a regular handheld mirror. But the fact that it's Hello Kitty and it is Sephora, you're paying for the name. So it's not worth the $46, stalls, but I got it because I love Hello Kitty and I love Sephora. So two combined is like amazing. Amazing. Oh my god, this smells so bad. That's not good. If it smells like that bad, it must be really cheap quality, really cheap quality or something. Oh my god, I don't even. It smells like poison. <laughs> Anyways, um, also got the boutique clutch, and honestly, when I saw the picture of this on the Sephora website, I thought this thing would be like amazing. The quality does not do, like, the quality of, the, sorry, the quality of the picture in the Sephora website looks better than the actual quality of the actual thing. Like, this is basically, you can scratch this so easily, I'm pretty sure, but it's really easy to look wipeable, I can see, it's, and it looks shiny like this, but the quality is not that great, and this thing cost me $33. You can get something better for $33, like, I'm pretty sure I can go to the outlet and get, like, a guest purse for $33, and it's going to be way better than this. But then again, you're paying for the name, like I said. So, um, it has basically like a wristlet, and it has that bow design in the front, and it has like a little Hello Kitty bow thing here. So you zip that open, and inside is just like the regular stuffing, and there's no regular inside pocket. Literally, it just says Hello Kitty right there, and just like a regular silk, whatever, insides. And I'm probably going to use it, I was thinking about returning this, but, um, I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm actually going to keep this, but I'm going to probably just use this wristlet, and probably can't hold much in here, I would say, because depending on your camera and how much you actually put in here, you can't hold that much like a regular clutch or regular purse or whatever. But um, that's what that looks like. So it has a little bit hanging out over there. But I would say it's not worth the $33. But then again, you're paying for the name. Um, next thing I got was um, this nail polish. And I don't I don't have a swatch of it, but you can find it online. But it's called Frosted Cupcake. And this is Hello Kitty head right there. And it's a, basically a light pink color with um, silver shimmers in it. So, yeah, my lighting is not that good right now. But yeah, that's that. And that um, nail polish cost me... I'm oh, sorry, I have the receipt right here. Cost 
And let me see what the amount is. I'm trying to figure out the amount. I don't think they tell you the amount here. Anyways, if you look at the Sephora website, I'm pretty sure this looks less than a regular OPI nail polish. You get less than the amount. You're paying for the name, like I said, and packaging. Okay. And next thing I got was uh, the Apple Balm, which cost, which, cost, which cost me $12 Canadian. And um, basically, it's in this red kind of container thing. I haven't, like, opened it yet. But basically, it's um, a lip balm or, like, a tinted lip balm kind of thing. And... I saw the texture in the store, it actually looks really nice, but I haven't opened mine yet, and I don't want to open it right now until I'm actually going to use it. But it's really cute, because it actually looks like an apple because of the tag. Kind of see it. So that's really cute. And the thing, last thing I got was the actual perfume. And this is the 1.7 ounce perfume. And this thing cost me um, $72. And that's the, what, the huge chunk of what, what, what I mostly paid for. I'm sorry, I can't really talk today. Like... The medication I took, I took, like, 30 pills of, um, medicine. But, oh, anyways. The perfume leaked or something. Oh, my God. But, yeah, I opened this before, but I don't know why it's leaking now. That's weird. Anyways, this is what the bottle looks like. It doesn't come, when you take it actually out of the box, it doesn't come this, um, atomizer. I don't know how to pronounce it. Atomizer actually comes with this, where's the lid? It comes with this lid first, like this just regular screw lid. You just screw it on, and then you take you take that off, and this thing is actually inside, so you just spray it. I can't really describe the scent because I don't have the actual description, but if you look on the Sephora website, I'm going to link the Sephora website for the Hello Kitty collection down below. But um, it smells really good. I really like the smell of it. It's really fruity, and that's why I like it. I love fruity smells. Um, let me just put this back in here. And the packaging for this is really cute. It's a perfume bottle like that. It says Hello Kitty. Um, I'll just close it properly. <coughs> and it's so cute because it comes with this plastic wrapping. And then if you look carefully, I'm trying to find it. Where'd it go? Anyways, yeah, it comes in this like little, little wrap and it has like a Hello Kitty bow like on top. And I thought that was super cute. Everything's so reflective in here, so it's not really showing that well. But um, yeah, and then I got three samples online because when you order on Sephora online, you get three free samples. So I got the um, Philosophy Hope Oil Free Oil Free SPF 30 Moisture for Normal to Oily Skin. And it's probably not going to work for me because I got dry skin, but I'll probably give this away to one of my friends. Um, I also got a sample. This is tiny. It's a Bare Minerals Original SPF 15 Foundation. I got this in light because I'm light. And so it comes with a real tiny brush. And it comes with the actual... Um, foundation. I don't really wear mineral foundations. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it. And also a prime time foundation primer. Like they're really, really small. So these are all sample sizes. And also I got a sample of the Jimoshi um, play for her. And that's what that looks like. But yeah, um, I'm sorry if I'm so scatterbrained in this whole haul video, but I haven't made a video in forever and like these drugs are still like inside me. I feel like I don't know. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for subscribing to me, and I'm so happy to be here on two years. And one thing that I'm really, really proud of, I know I might lose I might lose subscribers, I might gain subscribers because of this, I don't know. But I'm really proud that all my subscribers have subscribed to me because I didn't have to tell them to. Because I don't, this is just the way I am, this is just my personal opinion, you can have whatever opinion you want. But I don't like going to other people's pages and telling people, oh, check out my channel, please subscribe to me, or sub for sub kind of thing. But I don't do that. Like, I love how all my subscribers, they subscribe to me because they want to, not because I force them to or tell them to. But, like, even in my videos, I'm like, oh, please remember to subscribe or whatever. But, like, um, they just do it on their own will. I'm not forcing them to do that because I know there are some girls out there, like, they really want subscribers and they really want to do this. But I'm doing this because I love it, not because... I want to, like, gain popularity, you know, be like Michelle Fawn and be like all, all the girls who want to do Star and like, move to L.A. Like, I don't know. I feel like they lost a little bit of what the reason why they're here for. I know I'm kind of, like, rambling on right now, but I don't care. Um, they lost the whole reason why they're on there. I know po being popular and just getting all those deals are good, but you got to make sure you appreciate your subscribers and post videos often. I'm not sure if you guys noticed this, but I try to post a video at least once a week. Or at least every four days. Like, I literally look at the day that I post a video, and then I look at my calendar, like, on my desktop, and make sure I post at least every four days, or as often as I can. And that's why I film so many videos in one take, 
just so I can post slowly for you guys to keep you like interested in watching my videos. So I really hope you guys appreciate that. And I love that you guys have stuck with me. Those of you who have been sent me from the very beginning, thank you very much. Um, and also to all the contest winners for my contest, um, I'm going to ship your prize today, which is going to be Wednesday, March 2nd. So I'm going to post it. That's why I won't be able to like film actual on the day of my two-year anniversary. But yeah, I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please let me know down below in the comments if you like my hauls or do you want me to do hauls only or do you want me to do tutorials? Like, what do you want me to do? I know I want to mix up both, but like, I feel like my hauls get a lot more views, so I feel like you guys like it better, so just let me know what your opinion is because I honestly don't know. Like, I even did a poll, like, on my blog. Oh, yeah, check out my blog if you can because I do write on there sometimes. But, um, yeah. <laughs> So I'm still coughing. <coughs> okay. <coughs> I just miss you guys so much. That's why I'm talking so much and, like, really, really fast. Yeah, in case you're wondering what's on my nails, it's um, the Justin Bieber collection, the color of my lifesaver. It's the spring collection. It's not, like, yeah. But anyways, yeah. Oh, yes. Since I'm filming this on March 1st, it's technically still Justin Bieber's birthday. So happy birthday, Justin Bieber. I love you. I, like, literally saw your movie, like, twice. I saw the director's cut, which is this past weekend, and I saw, like, the regular version. But, yeah, I'm a huge fan. Love you, Justin. Okay. Sorry. Shout out to Justin right there. I'm so, like, rambling on right now. It's ridiculous. I need to stop. But, yeah. I'm going to stop now. Because I make myself laugh. Oh, my God. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> you guys can, like, laugh at me right now. Ugh. Oh. I feel like I'm going to cough and, like, die right now. <laughs> I'm going to watch me die in my video. And you can see it fall off. I'm kidding. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm coughing so much. But, yeah. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this whole video. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. Because I literally read every single one of your comments. So, yeah. Um, I'll see you guys later. Bye.